So hello guys, this is another new video how to change power key on mobile phone. So welcome back to my channel. This is the great point first for you to understand this video, watch to the end and make sure you share, you like, you subscribe to this channel, like on the video to rate the video. So this is a mobile device. The mobile device wants to clip the battery, the, ba the mobile phone keep restarting by itself. It powers on by itself. So that is a power problem so this is samsung a10 so let's fix that unclip the battery from the board and also unclip the part flex from the mobile phone so this is the power flex so before changing the power key let's confirm so let's check if the flex is still working so let's get our multimeter and set um your multimeter at diode mode so please keep watching this video subscribe to my channel hit on the notification bell to get notified i'll be dropping a video on how to use multimeter so as you can see from the multimeter the power is reading so it's 40 the power is not supposed to read except you are the, if the power is open you don't it's not supposed to read except you press it that is when it comes in contact with each other that is when it's supposed to read automatically it's reading so let's replace the power key so we are, we are going to be using our soldering iron to replace the power key so make sure you apply your paste this is your paste in any operation you are going you are performing in a mobile device any soldering operation so make sure you apply your paste so i've applied the paste on the 40 power so now let's bring the power out the power key that is the power key the power button so let's bring it out keep it on top of the soldering iron tip so that the heat will be evenly and when the heat gets more on the power the the soldering will be very soft and it will be very soft to remove as you can see this one it has been removed so get another flex remove the power but before using the power make sure you test it too with the multimeter setting it at your diode mode your continuity mode so if it read or beeps that is the power is faulty so but if it doesn't beep except you press it that is when it's supposed to beep so this is the new power key let's hit it out bit by bit just be patient for you to be the, for the soldering to get weak then when the soldering is weak due to much heat you bring out the power key from the flex so please make sure you subscribe to this channel if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe so the power key is out so now let's replace it with the new one this is it the same procedure make sure it's well soldered so once it's soldered bring it out and let's test it again to see if it's bridging if or it's read so as you can see from the multimeter there's no sign of any reading so now the power key is okay so let's install it back to our mobile device and clip the battery so as you can see it doesn't power on by itself again except you switch it on so let me switch it on so the cause of that problem that um, the mobile device will keep power powering on by itself most time is when liquid touch the power button so liquid is a conductor it will automatically be bridging and short circuiting then making the mobile phone to keep restarting so this is the mobile device as you can see once some power is on it's coming on so let's wait for it to boost a little bit Let's, let's couple back the mobile device so the booting is still going on so the booting is done now so as you can see the power key is working effectively so don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you for watching i remain the great till next time bye bye